Hello everybody, I'm Jeff Phillips and welcome to this week's webisode. Every week I bring in a new business to help share tips and advice about their industry. And today I have Winnie Curley. And Winnie, Winnie welcome to the show. Thank you, Jeff. Nice yeah. to be here. Sure. Why don't you explain to everybody a little bit about yourself? Okay, I'm the Clarity and Change Catalyst, I'm Dr. Winnie Curley. I do personal development work with my clients. I help corporate executives as well as entrepreneurs achieve success with less stress. A lot of the times people are going along, things are going great, life and business are working and then something comes along and kind of knocks you sideways. Things that knock you off your game and that's what I help people get through and I, I like to say I help them grow through it as opposed to just get through it. Huh, interesting. Go to the other side with some benefit. Awesome. Yeah. Great. Well, let's start with someone who feels unlucky. I mean, I know uh, just on my Facebook feed, you can mm -hmm. tell who's having a bad day or they're always putting up there saying, why does this always happen, happen to, to me? me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, what can someone do to kind of get out of that, if anything? Well, you know what's really exciting to me and fun? I found this article, uh, and it's actually called The Luck Factor. There was a book written by a professor in England, and he did a research project on what it means to be lucky and discovered that, that it's actually a set of behaviors, attitudes, and beliefs that help people create their own luck. That you don't have to be stuck with whatever bad luck you think happens over and over again. There is a way that you can actually change your luck. If you saw the movie Brave, I know you have a little girl, and mm -hmm. she said, if you could change your fate, would ya? Right. Well, there is a way to change your luck. Okay, well, I know probably a lot of people out there that are going to um, not believe that, you know, <laughs> right. when, it, when you're in that state. Um, are there any characteristics or anything mm -hmm. specifically that you could share with us? Absolutely. This article laid them out very clearly. There were four key characteristics that people seemed to have that considered themselves lucky and experienced good luck fairly routinely. The first one is to make the most of chance opportunities. So what seems like randomness and chance opportunities, they could connect to that and take it to the next level, create uh, more of what they needed and wanted by a comment or an introduction. The second one is to decide based on intuition. So actually trust your gut a lot more, not only your logical mind, but to trust your gut and your intuition. Maybe it's just about, yeah, I really should go to this networking event or you know something like that out of a conversation. Ooh, wonder if they would consider this idea and trust your gut. Um, the third one is expect success. So actually expect that you're going to succeed. It's a level of energy and emotion that helps you achieve what you want to achieve, but you, it's a practice too. It's a way to get yourself on the right energy level, wavelength mindset that allows success to be comfortable for you. And the last one is kind of finding the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Even when something doesn't go quite right, or some people might call it unlucky, you look inside there and say, what did I learn? What's the benefit? What did I learn not to do? What did I learn that I could do better next time? And to actually not even claim bad luck because your attitude is that, well, there was something good in there for me. Okay, so someone watching this, um, uh, you know, okay, realize that they have one of these characteristics. Is there any specifically, anything that they can do specifically to help them, you know, move on? Yes, there is, and the research article actually did a training program. So they actually did prove not only that there are characteristics about being lucky, but that you can train yourself to achieve those four characteristics and make yourself more lucky. And it was interesting to me because I kind of build a lot of things into my programs already that work for that. And one thing that is very simple and anybody can do it is every night before you go to bed, think of at least one thing and up to three things that you did good that day, that you can genuinely say, I'm proud of myself for that, I feel good about that, and let that feeling of um, pride and happiness and um, satisfaction fill you. Just let it actually be there, kind of wallow in it for a few seconds. And as you begin to do that, you'll create a, more of a fan mentality than just the critic that's always there. And it can help you change your belief and your automatic response to what's happening. Hmm. Okay, well that's um, very interesting. I mean, there was a point in time in my life when I, someone had, had mentioned that to me and it, it's true, it, it worked and it helped me change and get out of a, a, a funk that I was in. 
One of the things that I did create for my clients was a guided meditation. It's a free gift online and it will be on the website at the end of the video. And it'll help you if you use this every night before you go to bed to actually create that practice of being proud of yourself. It's a little seven minute audio, but it kind of coaches you through it and gets you in a habit because it's creating the habit that makes the biggest bang for the difference there. So yeah. I appreciate that. And, and I hope all of you appreciated that as well. And if you would like to uh, learn more about uh, Dr. Winnie Curley, uh, please check out the website at the end of this video and she would be happy to uh, talk to you in more detail if you, if you feel like you need to reach out to her. That's all we have for this week. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.